Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing a pick a card reading. We're using tarot cards and we're asking the question, why do I have th these feelings about someone? Okay, so this is not necessarily a love reading. This could also apply generally, uh, but it, it does apply to love as well. So the question again is, why do I have these feelings about this person? So you might have some, you know, quite um, unexpected feelings for somebody whether it be love or anything else. And you might be wondering why, you know, why are you having these feelings? So that is what this uh, reading is trying to answer. And uh, as I said, we're using tarot cards. We have the option number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Go ahead, make your selection, and you can go down to the timestamp, uh, which will be in the description box below. All right, let's get started. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, the question we're asking is, why do I have these feelings towards this person? Why am I feeling this way towards this person? There are some background noises uh, with some neighbors doing some construction work, so please bear with those sounds. This is not supposed to be in here. Okay, so it seems here that this person that you're thinking about could be in a position, in an authoritative position. They could be a professor, they could be your doctor, they could be somebody that you have a commercial transaction with, um, that you're buying something from or you you um, having a service done uh, for you. And it seems like this person is out of bounds in some way. Um, it feels to me also like... Um, there is a sense here that there's something to be offered. There's some kind of offering to be made. And that is this offering has to do with an energetic offering and, and a soul offering, like a spiritual offering, offering. So the reason that I would say that you're interested in or you're having these feelings about this person is because it seems like they have something to offer you. They seem to have some kind of wisdom or something here that you're going to learn from the situation. So it's not necessarily that this person's going to say something to you and you're going to learn something from this person, but it could be that the interaction that you have with this person is quite telling for you. It's quite um, important for you because from this interaction, you're going to learn something about yourself and about the way in which you interact or about your feelings and how you manage them, that it's going to help you to uh, better define yourself as you go forward. I would say here that it's uh, the advice is to go ahead and actually just um, talk to them about how you feel. You're welcome to do that. It's not necessarily going to work out in your favor if you do, but it would be something that would help you in your process along the way. So um, even if you had some feelings towards this person that was unpleasant, it would be important for you to uh, say what you want to say and and get it out of the way. It's important to, you know, you could you, you could be in a situation where this is your boyfriend and you have these strange feelings suddenly. And the advice here would be to and to actually just um, talk about what it is. And, and you know, the, the inaccessibility here that you're experiencing is the fact that you find it difficult to talk to uh, this boyfriend about how you're feeling. So um, in a nutshell, what is important here is to actually uh, recognize that you have these feelings, to understand that these feelings are valid and not to deny them and to see where it comes from and and then to potentially speak to the person or 
or take some action with regard to these feelings. Because when, as you take that action, you're going to find that you're going to learn much more about yourself. You're going to learn much more about that situation. And you're going to be able to resolve these uh, strange feelings that you have. So perhaps it's just about writing an email to that person or writing an e um, a message and you're going to get their answer. And, you know, and their answer is not necessarily going to be one way a you what you're hoping for or what you would like to have but it is going to be something that allows you to go forward to have a future to move ahead um to, when i say to have a future i mean to to look forth into the future to be able to um move ahead in a way that is allowing you to to see further to give you some perspective you know uh because there is much more uh then it's but there's much more to the situation it feels here that there is something that could develop um, in the future between you two but right now it's not possible right now that person's either unavailable or they're not willing to or they're not in a position to uh, develop anything with you and in the in the future however there is um it's almost like both of you are looking forward into the future and thinking, well, I wonder if what could have been, I wonder what can be in the future. And then just leaving it up to fate and leaving it up to what can come to pass in the future. And it doesn't mean that you've got to sit around waiting for something to happen between you two, but rather just move on because this is an energy where you are here to access some information really quickly. There's this uh, soul connection here that gives you the opportunity to be able to access this information really quickly and then to be on your way. And that is what this energy is about here. All right. So I hope that's been helpful and I hope that uh, I've answered your question. And I hope that resonated. Let me know down below. All right. Sending you much love and many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we are asking, why am I feeling this way about this person? Why am I feeling this way about this person? Oops, and there's a card that's flown out already. I'm going to go ahead with it. Let's just see what else is going on here. Oops, there's another card. This deck is very eager to speak. And we are asking for one more card. We just want to know why are you having these feelings about this person? What are these feelings telling you? Why are they there? And it's this one. So we have the Hermit, we have the High Priestess in reverse, and we have the Tower in reverse. So I think here that um, this is a situation where Perhaps you being quite um, private about how you feel and perhaps you have been quite isolated previously or perhaps you've been quite uh, reclusive. Um, it could be because you don't have these feelings quite often. It, this is something that happens quite rarely for you. And um, I've just noticed that there's another card hi hiding underneath the hermit here. And it is the three of cups. Okay. Let me just put that there. So I hadn't seen that before, but I think it's significant that it's been there. So, yeah, I think this is about, you know, wishing to actually share your feelings about with somebody, wishing to to wishing that this is the one wishing perhaps that, well, if this is not a love reading, then perhaps wishing that things could work out, wishing that you could show a particular part of yourself with somebody, wishing that you can share something about yourself that you're not able to share with others so openly, wishing that you could have perhaps a social interaction with this person or help this person could help you break free from the recluse that you've been or the hermit that you've been in a particular area in your life, whether that be socially, whether it be with love or whether it be with work, etc. But you, what you're hoping for here is that this person um, is able to help you break free out of your prison, out of your tower, uh, and help you come forth and show who you really are because there's some kind of reluctance for you to do so. So there's some kind of inability for you to just come forth and just be who you are. And um, and uh, it's like you're not used to it or you, f you feel ashamed or you feel uh, uh, shy or something like this. 
and you're not able to come forth. And then this person and the feelings that you have for this person represents um, that you want to come out, that you want to break free from this mold, that you want to actually be social, that you want to actually come out and show a particular part of yourself and be that person. You want a space to be able to express who you are. And you want to be able to do that with this person privately, or at least you imagine that you can do so with this person privately. And then that will allow you to be able to to be who you really are. You're hoping that this person will give you some kind of outlet. But I feel here that this is misguided because this is not because, yes, you do need an outlet and you do need a space where you can transition from being perhaps reclusive in a in a particular area of your life to being more open, being more social, um, to changing your vibration a bit from being one of that is more subdued to one that is more uh, kind of, um, you know, boisterous or out there a little bit or more open. Like it's like opening the heart chakra. I feel this kind of uh, combination feels like opening the heart chakra. But I feel that uh, the, the reasoning that you have around it or the, the beliefs that you have around it are misguided because I feel here that you might think that this person represents some kind of um, spiritual savior in your life or they might be something like, um, I don't know, like maybe you've thought about them being your twin flame or maybe you've thought about them being somebody who's going to free you in some kind of way or help you free yourself in some kind of way and this isn't true and this is it's like you're relying on false psychic um sense so it's like you telling yourself well you know this person represents that for me or i can come out in this way if this person allows me to but then what's actually happening here is that you believing something that's not really true you're telling yourself something as opposed to it being psychically true or energetically true and so you're blocking your own psychic ability here to be able to actually uh, release yourself from this and so as a result what's happening is that you're not able to you're keeping yourself in a bubble and that bubble is something that's like it can explode in any moment and you know and you could find yourself really heartbroken here and I think that uh, what you need to be doing in this situation is to be able to say, okay, well, you know, this is the personality that I have, or this is how I've been behaving um, or interacting with people in the last few years. But now I I would like to change, change that. And I don't need to have these feelings for this guy or this other woman to be able to change that. I don't need to have these feelings. I don't need to have this uh, relationship in my mind or this interaction in my mind, or these feelings in my mind to be able to shift that about me. I have the courage to be able to shift this about me and I can go ahead and do that. And uh, and then just allow yourself to take one step at a time to move in the direction that you need to, to be able to be more social, to come out of your your hidden space, to, to show yourself to the world a little bit more, to be less reclusive, to be less like a hermit and to come out in the world and, and less be less isolated to share more of yourself with somebody and to practice doing that with not just one person, but with many people. Uh, so that you can learn to trust again and learn to be more comfortable with others. And I think here, you know, with, with the uh, the high priestess in reverse, it's saying, well, you know, stop telling yourself things which are not true. Stop telling yourself, well, this is something that it's not. Stop telling yourself, well, perhaps it's this or perhaps it's love or perhaps it's it's um it's something that this person is going to bring out in me. You know, only this person can bring this out in me. Nobody else can. And I have never felt this way about anybody else before because this isn't true. What's going on here is that you're lying to yourself and you're creating a bubble within which you're living. It's like you living within your own projection. And uh, at some moment, this is going to fall apart and then you're going to find that you, you know, you're quite hurt um, by it. You, you know, you've, you've, you know, you've hurt. Yeah, you've been a, hurt by it it's like you're falling out of a bubble in the sky and you're scraping your knees that's the image i get and so i think that uh, for the, for those of you who've chosen the second option just to recognize that the feelings that you have for this person is actually you trying to uh really reveal sorry reveal a part of yourself that you haven't been able to reveal until now and for you to just take the steps forward to have a bit of courage and to find other ways of doing this and not necessarily focusing on this particular person because this particular person doesn't seem to have any kind of relevance in your life 
to be honest, it seems like they just are there at a particular time in your life to inspire you to be able to show more of yourself or to reveal more of yourself or to um, to bring a different energy into your life to ch shift your vibration a little bit so that you can bring a little bit more joy into your life and allow a little bit more spontaneity in your life as well and uh, and then don't rely too much on on, on psychic things or or uh, you know readings etc to be able to tell you things or read too much into a particular situation because you're going to be reading what you want to into that situation and then also just you know if you can do all of that then you will be able to resolve uh, the situation here which is basically just allowing the situation to dissipate and to the energy to just flow out of you and you don't need to to think about it too much you don't need to worry about it too much and it doesn't have to be such a harsh kind of tumbling down or it doesn't have to be locked in a bubble and not able to come apart it'll simply just dissipate and won't be um, painful anymore or won't be um um, difficult to work with anymore it won't be heavy the energy won't be heavy anymore all right so uh, there was my reading for you for those of you who've chosen the option number two i hope that's been helpful i hope that resonates and if you aren't able already to hear that message right now just give it a bit of time and see how it moves ahead in the future i'm wishing you all the best and many many blessings to you so for those of you who've chosen the option number three we are asking why is it that you have these feelings? Why is it, oops, there's a card that's flown out already. We're asking, why is it that you have these feelings for this person? What is the reason that you have these feelings for this person? And there's the first card here. It's just the hangman in reverse. And this card here, which popped out earlier. Oops, and there's another card here that's quite keen to come out. So we have the hanged man in reverse. And um, this is when you are you are, have the idea that you need to push ahead and you need to do something. And you are doing so um, even though the time is not right. You're pushing ahead with something even though it doesn't feel right. You, It's a moment when you need to pause, but you're not pausing because you feel like you need to push ahead because you can't have stagnancy in your life, because you can't not have movement. And so the movement as you go ahead is quite erratic and it's quite... Uh, like all over the place it's almost it's ungrounded it's unsure it's uncertain and so here we have a situation where there's almost a wish there's a desire a deep desire to be in a particular kind of situation with somebody to be settled to be um feeling more um endowed financially to be in a situation where you are um where things are settled where uh, there's you don't have to think anymore you don't have to worry anymore you don't have to uh, to deal anymore so it's almost if this was a love situation i would see it as this person wanting to be um in a settled uh relationship in a home with family and with uh, kids and just getting on with life really and it's almost like you hear and you want to do that very quickly, but this is not the appropriate time to ha for it to happen. It's like, that's what you want. You want these things. You want to settle. But then the universe is saying, well, it's not really the right time and you're still pushing ahead and you're trying to make it happen. So it feels here that this relationship isn't, or this feelings that you have for this person is more about you uh, kind of trying to create something that isn't really there or isn't really right at this moment it feels more like you want this to be it's like you're in love with the idea of it or you'd like it to be or you're hoping that it would be because obviously it satisfies something in you that you need and that you desire like obviously you want to be in a situation where you're feeling more settled and where it would work better for you to to be in this situation but this these um these feelings are are not really helping you so why are you feeling this way well it's because 
I think there's something here which you need to realize that you need to give yourself this. This is not something that you can find in the other person. You need to give yourself this, this feeling of having created a legacy, this feeling of uh, having accomplished something, of being settled. You know, being settled is not just about being settled. It's about getting to that point of being settled or getting to that point of where you're comfortable in your own life and living the life that you desire, because that's what it is ultimately. It's about being able to provide yourself with the comforts of living um, in a way that you don't have to worry so much about something. And to do that, you need to accomplish something. You need to achieve something. You need to fulfill something in you. And so the, 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 feel, the reason you're having these feelings is because this person uh, is somebody who you think can give you that. And it's almost like um, the, uh, the question... It's almost like uh, the the what this person's just giving you the feeling that you they can give you that, but in fact you need to do it for yourself. You because it seems here that there's uh, that you're moving ahead with something too quickly. Now this is not to say that uh, there can't be a relationship between you and this person if this is a love uh, situation. Uh, it feels more though that you need to take care of your own business before you can. Um, focus on the that situation between you and that person that you have feelings for and i feel here that one of the things that's being indicated is that you create the situation you provide it for yourself and one of the ways to do that is by saving your resources saving your energy saving your time saving who you are saving yourself for uh, um, a situation a bit later on so this could also be a situation where you're a bit um, too open and too easy with yourself and with other people with the opposite sex or with the same sex for that matter and uh, this is saying well just keep something for yourself you know you don't need to be with everyone you don't need to go with everyone you can just keep something for yourself you don't need to be so eager to go with everyone you can pause for a moment you can take it easy for a bit you can accept and surrender to the fact that nothing is happening right now and it's okay for it not to happen and that you don't have to be like running around in the same spot um, and telling yourself that something is happening but it's not really happening because you just create a lot of buzz around yourself now if this was not a, a love situation uh if this was more a kind of um uh, if this was more a kind of um like business situation i would say and you're having feelings about a particular person or a particular thing around that um then i would say that uh, it's also that this is not the right time to go ahead with something but if you wait if there is patience, uh, you will find that there will be a, a time later on where you can move ahead with things and where you can w work with something. So why are you having these feelings? It's because it's telling you that there is a chance that something is happening here. But I feel like in a love situation that is unlikely to be true, or maybe it's true for one or two percent of you, where it's like you're really excited about something that's going to happen. Like, you know, you're going to marry this person. You know, you're going to be with this person. Ultimately, you know, you're going to settle with them. And so you're really, really excited with about that. And and you can't quite stop yourself. And so you um, instead of going with the flow, you're kind of pushing things ahead. Um, but then again, you know, if it's a non not a love situation, if it's some other kind of situation, it's like there's a recognition of the potential that's there. There's a recognition of something great, a great reward that can come from this. And uh, you you are needing to actually just, you know, temper your excitement and allow yourself to go with the flow and allow yourself to to like reap what's there and what you might find at the end of the day is that it's not as great as you thought it would be it's not as you haven't reaped as much as you thought you would and this might be a little bit disappointing for you but at the same time the advice here is to be grateful for what it it, it is and also to check your excitement check your expectation because you know perhaps you've been telling yourself all along that you're going to have uh, so much or you're going to get so much from this situation but you actually going to get very little from it so it's just to really check your expectation in both ways whether it's love or whether it's a career situation whether it's a work situation whether it's a private family situation uh, or even when it comes to yourself you know this could be a situation where you're very excited you're wanting to do a lot of things in your life and you have this expectation that you can be very happy or fulfilled or successful if you do all of that and then what you need to find is that you can only take it one step at a time you know um, you can't have 
all 10 coins at once, all nine coins at once. You can't have all um, all at once. You need to actually uh, just uh, take it easy and take a few, a little bit at a time. So do one thing at a time. And so when it comes to like why you're having feelings about this person, well, it's just tell you that, uh, well, you're excited about something and there is something that is there but it, ideally look at your own expectation check your own expectation with regard to that and look at how you can create something for yourself in this by yourself for yourself as opposed to await it from this other person in any kind of form for that matter not to say that they won't be able to come forth in the future and to be able to give you something or to be able to create something with you in the future but this is something where it's more like you need to do this for yourself so if you've been waiting for your you know if you've been having feelings for somebody and you're expecting to move in with them it's not going to happen right now. It might happen much later on, but you need to be able to set up your own space and your own apartment in the meanwhile, and then just um, wait until uh, later or see where things go. Just go with the flow. So I think here what's called for is more temperance, more relaxed sense of being and just surrendering to things not really working out exactly as you wanted to in this moment at this time at the time at which you read uh, you listen to this reading whereas later a little bit later it can change it can be a bit different okay so i hope that i know that's not the most satisfying reading <laughs> um that might be quite um discouraging to hear uh, but it is actually um what is advised here and i hope that will help you as you go along and i hope that it resonates on some level and and can help you so wishing you very well many blessings and i'm moving on to the next one take care so for those of you who've chosen the fourth option here we're asking why do you have feelings about this person why is it that i have feelings about this person that's just fallen out I'm just going to put it back okay so this is quite an interesting um, um, set so I would say here that um that the reason you're having feelings about this person is because they karmically needed to enter your life. It's like you've had a soul contract with this person and they've had to come into your life to perform a certain function in your life and to set you on your path, to set you on your path, uh, to be able to help you move along. So it feels like... Um, uh, this person is is destined to have come into your life and this is the reason that you have feelings for this person they were destined to come into your life to assist you with something to be able to make something to create something in your life to be able to um, unblock a path for you or to be able to open a gateway for you so that you could continue and create something further for yourself so it's almost like you were blocked at a certain point and this person's come in and they have just you know created an opening or helped you create an opening or done a service for you that helped create an opening so uh i feel here that the reason that there's this excitement these feelings is because you know there's this recognition um there's this remembrance of what you of your soul and your soul contract and and what was meant to be and there's almost this excitement about seeing this person again because we go through life and a lot of people that we interact with are not necessarily people that we recognize from other realities or other or remembrance from our soul consciousness and so here there is this sense that this is somebody that was meant to be you know they may um you might find a, a situation where they were born at the same year as one of your siblings or one of your family members or somebody else that you care about or they born in the same month or the same day or something like this or they or it might be that they 
they look like somebody that you used to know, somebody that you care about or somebody that's really important to you. Um, there might be some kind of recognition, you know, numerologically, it will, you'll find that there will be a, some kind of um, coincidence, uh, as it were. And there is, it was meant to be, it's like a mathematical formula that was meant to have that, you know, that equation has to have that answer. And so this, uh, the feelings that you have is because of that, it's this recognition of this person. Now, is it something that's going to turn into love or is it something that's going to have an outcome or in any way? Well, I'm hesitant to say that because it doesn't show in these cards uh, at all. It more what it shows rather is that this was karmically meant to be. This was destined to be. And they've brought something in your life which uh, represents some kind of balance or or brought some kind of justice into your life, brought some kind of thing that created more balance in your life or brought you something that you had been lacking. And then what, uh, and then the way forward is actually, it's about you. It's about what you can take from this situation, what you can take from this recognition, from this feeling and what can you plant with it? Can you plant something from it? Can you create something from it? Can you be inspired enough by this feeling to be able to do something about it or in terms of something for yourself or something for the world? not necessarily uh, pursuing a relationship with this person uh, or or pursuing some kind of business relationship with this person. Because I feel here that even though one might think it is, uh, like one may read these cards and say, okay, you know, you were destined to do a business relationship with each other. But I feel like here, um, it's it's not like that. I just that's my my clairvoyant sense of it, that it's not, yes, karmically, you were meant to come together. But w are you supposed to build something together? I think it's more like you you are supposed to build something as an inspiration from what they've brought into your life. Does this mean that they will continue to be in your life? I think on some level they will continue to be in your life and you will be in con uh, communication with them over, over a period of time, uh, perhaps for the rest of your life even, or for quite a long time. But I think here that um, it's something that you simply need to take the inspiration that you've had and the gift oops sorry i've just shaken my tripod you just need to take the gift that's been given to you uh that your soul has given you as well as one of the helpers one of the 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 boys along on your um on your path you know a marker um as in a boy as in a marker in your life and i feel that um here you could create something really interesting for yourself it's like storing away energy it's like storing away something good it's like taking this energy that you have and creating something with it or planting it and then what's going to happen is that it's going to reap some other benefits so something that they've given you here whether it's a feeling or whether it's something actual like opening a pathway for you is going to help you to be able to create something much much nicer for yourself that's right here and much more beautiful and there's an outcome here that's very positive, that's very colorful, very nice. And I think that, you know, there's a lot to be gained from this. And there's a lot to feel happy about here. Okay, well, I hope that's been a helpful uh, message. Um, I, I, You're pro probably expecting something a little bit different. Uh, but I think that, or maybe in terms of the outcome, but um, I think that here... Um, you know, if you want to find out what's the outcome of this, then perhaps look at another card reading where I'm asking that question directly because I'm not asking that question here. I'm just asking why is it that you have these feelings about this particular person? All right, so I'm going to move on. I wish you all the best. Many blessings to you. So for those of you who've chosen the fifth option here, we're asking why do I have these feelings for this person? Why do I have these feelings for this person? cards have fallen out and I feel I'm going to go ahead with that.
Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the, the fifth option here, I feel like there's an infatuation, a temptation, a desire, um, a drawing like your um, magnetism towards each other. And I feel here that... Uh, that the reason that you have these feelings towards this person is because you are infatuated with them, because you feel that you have some feelings for them, you have some some love feelings, or you you have the feeling that you can be tempted into love with this person, and um, I feel here that there's um, a sense also about there's an excitement here for you because there is um, a sense of um, this being new for you, this being something which is you know, which is a little bit difficult for you to actually uh, go on this path and to feel this way. And I would say here that I'm not seeing that this is a love situation. I, I, I'm i not saying that. It's not, I'm not seeing that. But what I am seeing is that you are, you are definitely have these feelings. These feelings are love. And it feels to me that this has um, a karmic um a karmic uh, sense to it. So you were supposed to meet this person. You were supposed to meet this person at a point in your life where you didn't believe that you would be meeting anyone or where you weren't expecting it or where you weren't looking for it. And I feel here that this is uh, this temptation is something that that person also feels. It's something that you feel and they feel and there is this sense of it. However, I also feel here that um that this person is not necessarily going to be able to act upon it. Um, but I think that, you know, for the outcome of it, I think you can look elsewhere. Um, I mean, to another reading, to another card reading, like what's the outcome of the situation or this love situation or, or what's, you know, what what's going to happen? Because I'm not going to address that in here. I'm just asking the question simply, why do I have feelings about this person? And the reason for that is because it was destined for you to meet this person. It was destined for you to feel this attraction, this magnetism towards this person, this this uh, feeling that you can't control these feelings. And there is almost a sense here that you need to, to approach this person and you need to show them how you feel and you need to come to them. It might be that you feel um, a little bit sad after that. Um, it might be that you feel a little bit uh, upset uh, about it or that they don't necessarily react the way that you want them to react. Um, but there is definitely sparks. There is definitely a dynamism here, which can, uh, you can't deny, you know, so that person might try very hard to deny it. But, <laughs> but you know, you feel this way because they have feelings for you too, I think, you know, on some way, level. I'm not just, I'm just not sure if they can actually um, express it or they allow to express it. Perhaps they married or engaged otherwise or in a position where they can't do that. I feel here that they might try really hard not to show you their feelings or uh, try really hard to pretend that they are not engaged in this way. But I think it's it won't hurt to be able to go ahead, at least the message here as to like, why, why are you feeling this way is, well, because you have these sparks, this interaction, this excitement, this intimacy, uh, attraction to each other. You, I mean, what I mean by that is you attracted each other in an intimate way. Yeah, and I think here what's happening is that there's is a, there's a need to be able to speak it out. There's a need to be able to go ahead and and not necessarily speak it out, but show it, show how you feel, or at least a gesture to this person that you know you have these feelings and that there's an interest as far from from your side. I just want to clarify the helmet here because I feel like it's pu pulling us in a different direction, and it's telling us something about him or her, but it's not actually. It's also, it, it feels like it opens up a whole new set of dynamics here. So I just want to get a clarification. And I have, for, as a clarification to this card, I have the three of pentacles. So here I think that, um, you know, this person is something, somebody that you can actually create something with. They, they're somebody, somebody that you can, you know, write a paper with if they're in academia, or they're somebody uh, you can build something with, or it's somebody that you can collaborate with to make, to do something like a project or some kind of business venture or, or, or something like that. And I think that um, there is a sense here that um, 
you don't need to do this alone. You don't need to go at this alone. And it would actually be uh, fruitful in your life to engage in a, some kind of collaboration at this point um, from a business point of view or from a material point of view. So it might also be that, you know, you pull your resources together and you'll be able to create something together. So it feels to me like this person is also in a situation where they need something um, from you uh, or not from you necessarily, but they, they need something and uh, you need something as well that would help that you could potentially pull your resources together and, and create this for each other. So an example of that would be that they have just recently split up with their partner or something like that and they need a place to stay and you also you know needing to get a new place or, or, or stay somewhere and you could actually rent a place together and and stay with each other um or you know like share you know the rent or something like that or, or share a flat or some kind of house or something like this so there's this sense like that's just an example but think about your own situation see how that applies um, because here it feels like you could bring something together. So there's a sense that there's an infatuation that's here an attraction and attraction that's unavoidable, that's uncontrollable. And here's a sense of, you know, um, there's like being able to do something in a partnership rather than doing something alone. And it was karmically meant to be, it was karmically brought into your life. And so there are ways there are things that need to be done here there's a lot of movement ahead of this situation there is you you know making that offer to this person there is you also being open about creating something with this person and then um giving them time to come to you giving them time to actually make up their mind uh, although there is also a chance here that you could be disappointed about their what what they decide ultimately all right so um so why are you having these feelings once again is because you infatuate with this person and because you have a comic connection on some level and um because you have a real uh, physical attraction to this person as well all right and there is a chance that you can share something together or you can pool your resources and create something together uh, or you can build something together. All right. So I hope that's answered your question. And I hope that has resonated. Let me know in the comment section. I always love to read your comments. So I hope that has helped. And I'm uh, wishing you all a lovely day ahead. Good luck with everything that you're doing. Stay safe, stay healthy. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.